everybody, it is Nick Chapel back for another episode of Nick Does Disney. And I am here right now in World Showcase at Epcot for my first visit to the Food and Wine Festival this year. I haven't missed a Food and Wine Festival in years now. My wife and I come down every single fall, but I'm gonna go not once, not twice, but three times this year. So we're gonna try a little something different each and every time, including today something that is new this year. It is the Emile's Fromage Montage. It's basically like a cheese crawl. They did something pretty similar to this last year when they did the uh, cookie stroll at Festival of the Holidays. So that was just this past winter. So today we're gonna try out the cheese crawl. If I can flip you around here for a second. Pardon the shakiness here, but here's what we're gonna do today. Again, you get this uh, little booklet here, the food and wine booklet that's gonna tell you everything that you can see throughout the festival. And then our goal is to get a stamp at every booth that's offering one of these cheese items here. So we've got a cottage pie, some kind of a souffle, uh, raclette from the Swiss Alps booth, that's new. We're gonna go to Germany and Brazil for my favorite cheese bread. And then we get this really cool little cheesecake to top it all off with. So we're gonna start walking around World Showcase and attempt this cheese crawl, if you will. So let's hit it. All right, you guys, so this is not part of the Emile's Fromage Montage, but this is the Canada Pavilion over in this area, and that's where O Canada usually is, but of course it's under construction right now. They're changing the movie out. I don't remember when it's gonna start, but right now they've changed it into the apple seed orchid, so it's a lot of apple flavored things in there. So I know it's not on the cheese crawl, but I've heard good things about it. It looks pretty awesome inside, so let's go check it out. Yeah, guys, so this is really cool in here. Again, this is where they used to show the Martin Short Canada movie. I already forgot what it's called. Wasn't it just O Canada or something like that? But it almost looks like a, like a circus tent in here with all these I guess like ribbons hanging in the lights. It's really nice in here. It's air conditioned too, which is awesome. But everything, like I said, is kind of Apple themed. Pretty awesome. Just kind of taking a peek around. I've heard they've got like an apple pie slushy kind of thing. I've heard mixed reviews about it, but it is a little warm outside today. So maybe we'll go get one of those, but pretty awesome in here. All these oak wood barrels and got like a wine bar. All right, you guys, so I got the frozen apple pie drink. Now, I guess this is pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna taste like a frozen apple pie. It's got like all the little crumbles on top. Looks pretty awesome, a nice cold drink on a nice hot day. So I'm gonna walk outside, give it a taste, and I'll let you know what I think about it. All right, guys, so I actually ended up staying inside to drink this because look here, these are like, I guess, the lean rails that they had for when the uh, Circle Vision show is going on. But they put in like, I guess it's like black, not only it's wood, but it's something to fill in the gaps here. You can use as like a little table, so. Good little tip because it's hard to find anywhere to sit during food and wine outside or find a high top table anywhere. So just grab your food, come in here, get the air, and uh, have like a little mini table. But I gotta tell you, this drink, the frozen apple pie, pretty, pretty good. So I'm gonna finish this up and uh, head back out to World Showcase. All right, so I'm still walking around World Showcase to go to the first cheese booth. But look at this at the bottom of the slushy, it's like a giant mound of diced up apples in there. This thing is really good. So, apple orchard, you get this frozen apple pie, super good. guys so this is stop number one of our cheese crawl here on world showcase for food and wine festival this is the impossible cottage pie so the whole idea here is uh everything is meat free this is impossible ground meat with carrots mushrooms and peas topped with mashed cauliflower uh, it's also got some white beans in there and mozzarella so it sounds interesting one of the ones that i was skeptical about so let's give it a try and see how it is all right, so again, it's very hard to find anywhere to eat here at Food & Wine, so I'm literally sitting on like a flower bed type situation here, but I'm gonna give it a try. Again, this is the Impossible Cottage Cheese Pie. And uh, let's see how it looks. Looks all right, not too bad. Hmm. <laughs> kind of hard to eat. That's pretty good. You know, a lot of these impossible things, that's a big thing right now, they have an impossible burger over there as well. You can't even really tell that it's not meat. I don't even know what it is anymore, but I saw Burger King even has an impossible burger now, so that's the hot thing right now. But again, 
instead of potatoes, this is mashed cauliflower, and I love cauliflower, like pizza, mashed cauliflower instead of mashed potatoes. So I kind of figured this would be right up my alley, but I see the mushrooms in there and the carrots and all that. This is really good. It's a little hot and it's a little heavy if it's a warmer day, but all in all, that is a good first stop here. And this is, uh, what is this? This is Earth Eats. This is stop number one on our Emile Fromage montage, the cheese crawl. So that's booth one. Off to a good start. number two on our cheese crawl and like I said space is at a premium I'm literally eating off of like a light post kind of thing I don't know but you know it's a really nice day outside so that's okay this is from the cheese studio this is the second thing once again that we've gotten so far this is the black pepper porcelain souffle which sounds pretty good with a fig marmalade so that is stop number two two stamps down I'm gonna give this a bite I don't have anywhere to put the camera so I will eat it and come back and tell you how it was but it looks pretty good all right guys so we just had our second stop on this cheese crawl from the cheese studio we had that souffle I think it was like a black pepper souffle borson souffle something like that and it was awesome I was a little worried about a souffle sitting under a heat lamp you know maybe it gets dried out maybe it's not all that great but it was really really good super soft nice and moist in the middle and that black marmalade thing the, the big marmalade whatever it was that was on top super duper good so I know I've only eaten two things so far but between that and possible cottage pie and the souffle souffle all day that was really really good so now we're done with the two booths here at Future World, so now we're gonna go back to World Showcase and hit up, I think we have three or four more booths until we get our nice little sweet free treat at the end for completing this challenge. Two stamps down, let's go get some more. Alrighty guys, this is stop three on our cheese crawl. This is new this year. This is from the Alps booth. This is the warm raclette Swiss cheese with baby potatoes, corn chions, whatever that is. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And of course some baguettes on there. This looks really cool. I'm gonna show you in the video now. They have this giant Swiss cheese log that they melt under this super hot heat lamp and then they just scrape all the melted cheese off. How good does that look? So right now, I'm gonna bite into this because you have to eat it while it's fresh. So I'm gonna hop right on in and I'll tell you how it is afterwards. But again, this is from the Alps, a new booth, the Swiss cheese raclette. All right guys, so that was stop three of our cheese crawl here, the Emile Fromage Montage, if you will. This is the Swiss uh, Alps booth, I guess, is just what I said. Um, it was okay. It was the warm Swiss raclette. So it's basically Swiss cheese that they just melted up put it over some potatoes. And I guess that one thing I didn't know how to say, it was just baby little pickles. That was basically it. It was okay. I mean, it's melted cheese on top of stuff. You're not gonna go wrong, but it wasn't great. It was another heavy dish so far. Everything's been kind of heavy. And throughout most of Food and Wine Festival, it's still pretty warm. So hot and heavy food on warm days doesn't really go great together. I feel like Festival of the Arts, which is in January and February, it's lighter food during the colder times of the year here. So maybe they swap the two different kind of foods out for festivals, I don't know. but. It was okay. So far, the souffle is still definitely the winner. If you're looking for the Alps booth, though, when you come, it's directly across from the Stave Church over here in the Norway Pavilion. So the Alps booth, pretty good. But I get that again, though, that raclette cheese. It was fun to watch them make, but I probably save the money next time. So we have Germany and Brazil left. So let's uh, hit World Showcase again and go get those last two stamps before we get our free dessert.
Alrighty guys, so we are on stop number four of our cheese crawl. Again, this is new this year. It's a lot of fun. We have now made our way all the way over to Germany, and I don't even know how you say this next thing. It is the Schnickendoodlen. I don't even know. I had to ask somebody. I already forgot how to say it. But basically, it's a pasta gratin with ham, onions, and cheese. I'm gonna turn you around. I actually have to sit on the ground out here. I cannot find anywhere to eat. But from what I'm told, I'm gonna pick this up. Why am I laying it on the ground? Uh, from what I'm told, it's kind of close to a mac and cheese type thing, so a lot of kids seem to like it. I mean, again, it's cheese and noodles and all that jazz, so it can't be but so bad. I mean, it looks pretty good. This is the most expensive thing so far. Everything else has been about five bucks. This one was $7.50, I think, $7.75, something like that. Definitely over $7, so we'll eat it, give it a shot, and uh, we are one stamp closer, so I'll eat it and I'll let you know what I think. All right, guys, so I took a couple of bites, and it's okay. Again, it's pasta gratin with ham and onions and cheese. I mean, you can't really go wrong with it, but it's not great. I don't feel like anything that I've had so far on this cheese crawl has been great so far. Maybe that's why they're making it to be like some kind of little scavenger hunt game type thing. Go get all this food and then you get a free little dessert at the end because maybe these things aren't selling or they didn't think they would sell. I don't know. Because nothing I've had so far on this cheese crawl has been great. That souffle was pretty good, but other than that, nothing has been awesome. There's so many other great things I'd rather try. Uh, the Japan booth had all kinds of really cool looking things. All the classics I know and love. I know Brazil's gonna be awesome. I love that cheese bread and we're gonna go there after this, but so far, the cheese crawl, it's fun to do, but the food, eh, I don't know. So I'll take a couple more bites of this and we'll move on to Brazil. So this is the last stop. This is the fifth booth. We are in Brazil, as you can see. And I say the best for last. This is one that I know is a winner. I get this every year. This is warm Brazilian cheese bread. It's called Pau de Queijo, something like that. Probably totally butchered it, but it's super duper good. Again, I get this every year. I know it's awesome. And uh, I actually have something very similar now at Jungle Skipper Canteen over in the Magic Kingdom. So I know that's good. Been kind of disappointed with everything else so far in this cheese crawl. So I got another favorite of mine here. This is the crispy pork belly over black beans and tomatoes in there. So I know this is really good. I'm going to savor it. And I'll come back and talk about it and then as you can see we've got one two three four five we got all of our stamps so we get to go get our free dessert we're gonna go over to shimmering sips and get that in a little bit but first we enjoy our last booth here this cheese bread and this pork belly guys this cheese bread is so good I want you to see this oh look at all that cheesy goodness in there it is so good again I get this every year we come for food and wine festival but you can get something super similar now over at Jungle Skipper Canteen over at Magic Kingdom like I mentioned uh, a little bit smaller you get more of them and it comes with this really cool sauce I can't even remember what it is so I highly recommend that but if you're here for food and wine get the cheese bread game changer top three things in all the food and wine in my opinion worth doing the cheese crawl you don't have to but Light at the end of the tunnel. I haven't been impressed with the cheese crawl at all. Cannot say I recommend it, but I recommend the cheese bread. We've got all five before, and we just got our six for this free cheesecake from Shimmering Sips, a booth over here. They had some really good looking stuff, but I was in it for the free dessert. You know, I ate all those other foods already, and after eating all that, I don't remember everything we had. We had the souffle, we had the impossible cottage pie, we had the Brazilian cheese bread, which was really good. We had that noodle dish from Germany. Am I missing anything? And the raclette, none of which were outstanding. The souffle, pretty good. Nothing was great. And after eating all that, all about five, five fifty a pop. I knew the Germany booth was a little more expensive. This is what you end up getting. You get a free cheesecake. This is your redemption cheesecake. I guess they're giving out two now because everything I'd see online, it was only one. I asked her what it was and she said it was like a pineapple coconut kind of thing. So after all that, you get a tiny little cheesecake. But in my case, you got two. So I'll dig in and uh, see how it is. See if it was all worth it. 
All right, so a couple of bites in. It's okay. It's not bad. It's like a buffet cheesecake. It's not like super thick like I like my cheesecakes. I don't really get a lot of the pineapple or the coconut to be honest with you. It just tastes like cream cheese, cheesecake, that's it. So after all of that going through the booth, you know, a little bit world showcase, a little bit future world, going all over. I gotta say, not super satisfied, but I am gonna finish the cheesecake because I earned it. All right guys, so we've done it. We've completed the first ever Emile's Fromage Montage, basically a cheese crawl around Epcot. There was two booths over in Future World West, like I mentioned. That was uh, like Impossible Eats or something like that. They had the cottage cheese over there. Uh, we went to the cheese studio that had the souffle, which was pretty good. Uh, not enough to save this whole experience. Then we went to Germany. We went to the Alps booth, which is new this year. Uh, Brazil, which was fantastic. And then I wrapped it up at Shimmering Sips, like I just showed you, and got those uh, two itty bitty little cheesecakes. Um, all in all, you know, when it comes to Disney, I try not to be a Debbie Downer. I try to be positive about everything. Nothing was great. Now, nothing was bad. Good at best. Maybe they strive for mediocrity on some of this stuff. Nothing was fantastic. The souffle was the best of the bunch, but it wasn't great by any stretch. And I knew the Brazil cheese bread was going to be awesome. So that was as good as usual. But uh, all in all, I can't say that I would recommend doing the cheese crawl if you're gonna come for food and wine. I say just come and enjoy food and wine as a whole. I mean, there are things I wanted in Japan. There were things that I wanted in Australia and the American Pavilion and just all over. I mean, I had a list of things I was gonna do, but I decided, you know what? The cheese crawl thing, it is new. I'm not gonna be able to do it with the kiddos because they're not gonna have the patience to sit through all that. So I gave it a shot. I don't know, it maybe cost me, I think if you tally it all up, if you just got the cheese items, it was like $23.50. So you're not gonna spend a fortune, but you're probably not gonna love what you get either. So that's it for the Emile's Fromage Montage here at Epcot. All right guys, so we finished up the Emile Fromage Montage and I still have some time to kill before I'm gonna go check into my resort. So let's go into Mexico and ride the Three Caballeros. Love this ride. Turn you around here. Let's go inside the Mexico Pavilion here. It's gonna get a little dark, but it's gonna get oh so nice and cool too. Now it says this is about a five minute wait right now, so hopefully that's the case. This is one of my favorites. Absolutely love this ride. It's like a better small world. Don't let my wife hear that. She loves small world, but I love this one.
Alrighty, everybody, so there you go. That was our fun ride on the Three Caballeros, a favorite of mine. I told you, I think it's better than Small World. It's kind of like a more goth, dark Small World with all the skeletons and all that, but absolutely love that one. So yeah, we had a fun little afternoon around the World Showcase for food and wine, my first trip of the year. Got my AP magnet, which I'm pretty stoked on. That'll go on the fridge as soon as I get home. You know, the Emile fromage montage, save your money just go eat all the other better stuff that's around world showcase for food and wine lots and lots of good options again i think i said it earlier i feel like maybe they picked the ones they thought might not do well put it in this little adventure challenge uh just so they could sell more of them or something i don't know because nothing was great and i know there's a lot of really good stuff here so maybe skip that and uh, next time we're here we'll show off some of the better food throughout the all the other booths here at food and wine and it goes through mid-November. I don't have the date on me, but it gets later and later every year. So you've got a lot of time to check out the Food and Wine Festival. If you've done it already, down below, tell me what you've loved at the festival. If you haven't done it yet, but you want to do it or are doing it, tell me what you are looking forward to trying. But for now, that is going to do it for me. Thanks for watching Nick Does Disney, and have a great day, everybody.